I, I understand the female audience to all of this shit. They're gonna give you a lot of your donations. They're gonna give you, but the more that we lie to these women, the less married that they will be. I will maintain this shit. It's not always the guy's fault and not being able to get up to her expectations. Oh, they're fans. What the f is this shit? Steven, stop the bullshit. Cause here's the thing, Steven. You really know. You respected Kevin. You understood his message, but you get on public platforms and you're lying. And I said, if you're a man out there and you want to be happy, you want a strong seven. The 10, no, she's a 10, is too much drama, okay? The nine thinks she's a 10. That's too much drama. Too much. The eight already knows that she's probably a nine, so even though it's not as much drama, too much it's drama. still gonna cause you some issues. <laughs> but the seven, the strong seven, yeah. Yeah. knows that she's beautiful enough, she's smart enough, she brings enough to the table, mm -hmm. but in the same breath, her ego is mm. not out of control to the point where it will force your ego mm -hmm. to infiltrate the proceedings and nothing gets accomplished. In other words, the more beautiful that she is, or rather the more beautiful that she's been told that she is, the less accountable she has been held. Also, she's got way more ego and therefore is way less humble. The less that she's had to actually work for what it is that what she's had due to the halo effect, as well as just simps just giving her money simply for existing. Being an attractive woman means that you live life on easy mode. I mean, shit, it's like decreasing the life difficulty setting from Elden Ring down to Animal Crossing. But also the more damage to your pockets to keep up with this aesthetic that has fed her ego for years. That's why there's a multi-billion dollar anti-aging industry. Maybe it shouldn't be called anti-aging. Maybe it's called the anti-ego decline industry. But Steven ain't lying, let's go. That was my argument for, tw for strong seven. Ebony K. Williams, was I correct this in my assessment? I, 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 where is it? I vehemently agree with the strong seven okay. argument. Now, but you, you vehemently what? what? I vehemently agree. Agree. That the strong agree. seven is best position. I'll go further. She's best position, Stephen A., um, to partner with uh, the, the, I don't want to say average. People get mad when I say average or mediocre. You know, they get real mad. Yeah, yeah, I get um, <laughs> She's best position to partner <laughs> with the majority of available. How about I wonder what she rates herself. About that. The majority that? of available men. And, and it's for all the reasons you said, and I actually identified this um, in my early 20s, like coming out of law, coming out of, um, law school. And I realized that some of the things that, that myself and my uh, female counterparts um, were priding ourselves on, mm -hmm. um, being really, really well-educated, being mm -hmm. very well-accomplished, um, being pretty, but like pretty in a way that society deems is particularly valuable because we mm. know there's actual pretty and then there's kind of marketability, mm. if you will, like the kind of objective standard. Yeah. And those things really just did not translate. Not a lot of relationship value. Yep. And imagine how perplexed. <laughs> All right, Peter, Kevin Samuels. Some of us were. Mm. Uh, but I, I said to my girlfriends long ago, I said, y'all, all of this nines and tens, um, we might be in that space, even eights. Um, it, it's not going to serve us the competitive advantage when it relates to our sisters, who I'm even going to say six and sevens. Mm. Why? Notice what she said right there. So she considers herself as well as her homegirls eight, nines, and tens, not only because what she aesthetically looks like, but then also because she followed this boss B pursuit of happiness. But guess what? Feminism lied to you. You bit from the forbidden fruit hook, line, and stinker. Become a sexually liberated boss bee, they said. Work like a man, they said. And it'll lead to an amazing life full of happiness, community, and marriage. They lied to you. They're beginning to realize that turning themselves into a man makes them less likely for the outcome that they wanted. Because you gotta really look at what the market, and we're talking about, um, and this is through a hetero lens, of course, this is what men want. What do men really want, Stephen? I'm going to say some us. things and I want you to confirm sure, or deny. Sure, sure, sure. I'll, I'll do that for you. I'll I do, do that for I you. Really, I really I'm, invite I'm, that. I'm ready. I'm ready. Look, I, look. I, I think men want <laughs> um, to be affirmed. I yes. think men okay. want energy that is agreeable. I think... Uh, what the fuck is energy? Women that are agreeable. Hello!
men mm. want, generally speaking. Generally speaking, general, yes. This is all general. Generally, generally speaking, I yes. I think okay. men want women who are available. And what I mean by that is their schedules, their literal schedules. When I pull out my phone and you pull out yours, yes, I, I, it's not three weeks. Oh, we're not taking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This we ain't can, boomerang with Eddie Murphy. We, oh, we, you're not, you're not putting us on the waiting list. Uh, and we, wait, we, oh, we don't need you. We don't June. need you. Oh, they ain't happening. <laughs> they ain't happening. No, yeah. I would say men generally want you in their vicinity, but you don't have to be all up under us. And the reason for that is because we want you there in order to help meet whatever goal that we are trying to achieve. You heard that? Help me. Absolutely so, right. So, right. So some of these are the things that men are most desirous of. And and no, you desirous. can't be so unattractive that you get kicked out the bed, let's right. be clear. But, but as long as you are, you said it, pretty enough, mm -hmm. attractive enough, those other things are going to supersede in terms of what the man wants. Um, now, I will say this as somebody, I'm just going to give myself eight and above. I'm going to just do that. You should. I'm going to just do that. I co-sign that. I co-sign okay. co that. I co-sign okay. that. Um, I believe what? that most of, I'll speak for myself. I am acutely aware, Stephen A. Before she tells us what she's aware of, I don't mean this with disrespect. We're just going to have a truth session right here because I think a lot of women like her would benefit hearing the truth from a man with no skin in the game. Stephen A. Smith has skin in the game, so he's going to do what most people men do and say things to appeal to your ego so that you continue to have a friendship or a business relationship with them you would be in a eight in a circle of men that are in their mid to late 50s to early 60s because men are not rating women and adjusting for your age do you really think that you are an eight for a man in your age range against a woman that is 20 years your junior? All right, I had to do some digging, but I found a picture of her back in 2017. She actually released a book called Pretty Powerful, which my guess is has something to do with her being a young, attractive, successful lawyer and having to navigate a male-dominated work <laughs> workspace while being those things. And you can see right here, uh, for proof, it was posted by her back in 2017 on Facebook. And... She right here is definitely an eight. Some might say nine. I would say an eight. Somewhere between an eight and a nine. But would you rate this eight to the current day eight that we're seeing right here? I'll let the audience be the judge of that. Of the adjustments mm -hmm. that I would need to make um, in order to be more desirable mm -hmm. on the dating market. Um, well, may I ask what are those adjustments? Oh, good yeah, question, Stephen. You know. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just, I mean, you know. I mean, you, you brought it up. You, I did. You, you, you did say you it would be, would, it would be, it would be some, of, uh, it would be some of the things we mentioned, right? Like right. I, I would, I would need to make more time. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, I have a, I can imagine what your schedule looks like. Right. Mine might not look. It doesn't look identical, mm -hmm. but it's probably not far off at this okay. point. I tape a show on the West Coast. I tape. Last time I saw you, where were we? Yeah, in the we're air. Flying, flying back. We were literally flying back from LA. We were thirty thousand feet in the air. That's right. So, so there's a bi-coastal lifestyle issue that I think would need some attention mm -hmm. if I was to really get serious about trying to partner right now. Um, there is... Uh, yeah, which is why she said earlier that men need time. So probably her schedule has impacted her from a relationship perspective in the past. An intensity that I... I'm, I'm a very serious-minded woman, What's right? That? I deal with serious issues. Yeah, you can't be with you. A, a dingbat can't be with you. He ain't, <laughs> it ain't gonna work. He got to have some <laughs> level of intellect. He don't have a chance. I mean, and honestly, right. even if I wanted to give him a chance, which I have done historically, don't tell nobody, um, <laughs> I, I really wouldn't be as attract. There's something about the attraction. I'm gonna say a little bit different than Steven, because again, I think that they're colleagues and he's stroking her ego. Steven's attributing this to intelligence to stroke her ego, but a masculine man doesn't want to compete at all with his woman for the masculine championship belt in a relationship. We expect behaviors from women that we do not see in other men. Full stop. Femininity is beyond attractive to a masculine man, but if your aura is masculine, we'll entertain you. Right? Shit, I might go deep inside of you because your masculinity doesn't change how supple the viscous innards on the insides are upon my previous field research studies. But we don't wife you. Talk about, in, in your experience as a professional, how do you see stress manifesting in black women, uh, you know, I guess on occasion? I don't give a fuck what you think. Yeah, so I think it's a wonderful question. There are definitely gender differences. There are ways in which we're socialized very differently for how we manage things that upset us. Deep. 
I think for women, we tend to be relational. Um, and I think for men, it's a little different because everything, they tend to internalize things. So I think for women, you'll see things like significant irritability, I, especially in women of color, it's we don't give a especially in my sisters, because that irritability is sometimes more acceptable for people than the withdrawn, sullen, being sad because we're overwhelmed. I think another thing is that we eat. We tend to eat our worries. I don't eat the kind of meat. I haven't really ate nothing since I've been here. Um, and that's something I see a lot. And then the final thing I think is we tend to get into this perspective that this heightened stress that we experience as black women with racism, sexism, and all kinds of other things um, is normal. Oh, you think it's funny? This is here. Right, and so we sort of calibrate ourselves to high levels of stress instead of understanding we don't have to live like that. So those are some gender-based differences that I see. I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all. A men are buying, Nate. Um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the... Because women got too much advice about men from other women. <laughs> and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus, See, that's a problem. That's a problem. I need money. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women. You no, know, if, if you, there's a primalness to, mm. uh, you know, especially when we talk about heterosexual men and women, there's a primalness to how we are attracted to one another. And in order for me, who yeah. still very much, despite my intensity and my intellect and all this, you know, kind of mm. what we would consider masculine alpha right. shit, right? Yep. Excuse me, I don't right. know if I can cuss on here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, I'm still very, you've known me for a long time. You've known me almost 10 years, Steve, today. Right. Don't lie um, to her. I'm still very much. Um, very feminine, mm -hmm. very soft in many ways, and mm -hmm. very, I'm still like a, a Southern belle mm -hmm. in a lot of capacities. I'm, right. I'm born and raised in North Carolina, let's go. So those things still, th that receptacle energy is still very real for me. Receptacle. So now I need a masculine energy that can um, just almost overperform. And you know what it is too, if Please. I may say this Please, right now. Women need to know. So we gotta overperform our masculinity to accept your half masculine, half feminine ass. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we are not in competition. I don't want to be in competition with you. Why should my masculinity have to coax out your femininity? Why? It's not your reference point. It's not your normal. It's not what you've watched, but you've watched the Oprah's. You've watched the Cosmopolitan magazines. You've watched all of these different examples of boss bees, and now you need a reason to stop your fast-paced life. Now you need a reason to be feminine because now he's being his masculine. He has finally chosen, even though there's a wake of men in your past who have not chosen, that just took a look and just said, uh-uh, this is just gonna be fun for right now. But now in your 40s, when you admit that there's things that you have to change, you still don't do it. Kevin Samuels was absolutely a wake up call, a mirror in the face, in a sea of women that protect themselves with the girl code. Meanwhile, question why their in life real results are not matching up to what their girlfriends are telling them. Let's proceed. By the way, this is another reason why so many women come down into spaces or YouTube channels like mine in order to learn more about themselves and why they are not getting the results that they need because even here she references femininity well guess what also i've noticed her voice is octave and a key lower than stevens similar to how a woman generally does not want a guy that is shorter than her 
men do not want women whose voices are deeper than ours. But women like this get in a circle of their homegirls that confirm lies to them or get in front of other men that are in a position to tell them the truth, but don't because they want to keep a business relationship or a friendship going with them. No, this what we need to know this. Okay. So. All right, first first of all, you got to allow mm -hmm. a man to be a man. Here's what I mean by that. Please. You have a lot of women out there who don't want to be quote unquote objectified. You don't want a man looking at you and he desires what he sees. This is what they say a lot of That's them. what they say. That's what they say. And I'm going like this. So you want him not to desire what he's looking at when he looks at you? What kind of sense does that make? And not only that, don't get me wrong, he don't need to be classless. He don't no, need to approach you and the, be I, that's too not my, forward. That, let me just be clear, whoever's right. listening, that's not my issue. Right. You know this about that's me, right. I think. Yes, I, I pride, I'm a pageant queen, for God's sake. Right. I pride myself on one of the things, in fact, there are also men, since we're going to do this, right. that, um, that pretty stuff don't mean that much to them. Right. It's just don't. It's like, it's like you say, pretty enough, that's fine. If you are a man that... Um, average to a slightly above average aesthetic works for you i am not your woman right i'm not because i am for a man who values probably nine out of ten times when we walk into the room you've probably got the prettiest lady on your on your arm yeah yeah and that doesn't mean but you can pull that, that off right i can't hold point. most women accountable that's, for that because most point. of them can't pull it off like that. i understand and th those right. are the but you asked me what adjustments sure. would i make right those are some of the adjustments i would then con i would consider men because i know that's one of my it's like cards you know, you know your strong uh, suit. Right. That's one of my strong suits. But where I was going was this. <laughs> I wasn't just talking about, I didn't yeah. mean objectified in a literal uh, sense. I'm mm -hmm. talking about you being a guy. Yeah. You coveting what you see. You wanting to be turned on yeah. by your significant other. You wanting to feel as if you're you're married, but you want to feel like you felt when you were dating. You don't oh, want to feel yeah. like you don't want to feel like monotony and mundaneness is step is kicked in, and you're just going through the regular rigmarole of life, and it's devoid of excitement, suspense, intrigue, or whatever word might be yeah, appropriate in that regard. It better be you right? because if it's, it's not it's, you, it's, it's going to be somebody else. It to somebody else. Yeah. So I I think that is an issue on its own, and right. that's on an island. I think for more women like myself and how I'm describing these eights and above, right. we got that part. Most right. of us right. in terms of we're going to make you um, that that attraction piece is something that we're going to put energy into because right. we know that's how we got you. Right. Right. OK. Um, I think it's the intensity. I think it's the constant. OK. One of the best things I think about me, Stephen, A., as a friend, um, as a romantic partner, as a daughter, even to my mother. If you are interested in being the very best version of yourself, I'm a very good person to have in your life. Yes. Because you'll push you. I'm going to push you. You'll push you. I'm going to push you. Right. Everybody don't like to be pushed. Mm -hmm. And I don't think in the romantic context, I'm, I've learned in real time that it is super appreciated from your romantic mm -hmm. partner. But the other this is why I tell all my G's out there that the way that you feel about yourself within your early 20s, late teens, early 20s, getting into your 30s has no weight on who you will be into your 30s and even into your 40s. If you stay on the path of continuous learning, if you stay on the path of rising in excellence, if you stay on the path, the ambitious path to developing skill sets that are powerful within this world, to earn money, to have financial fitness while adhering to your purpose because she just confirmed it. Women as they age are holding on to what once was and they do so in a very delusional sort of way we just referenced this her referring to herself as an eight meanwhile nine out of ten times she's going to be the baddest person in a room what the math don't even make sense but their goal is to keep up with that aesthetic because they are a depreciating asset while the low point that you feel within your 20s as you're developing yourself is the same feeling that they feel when they start entering into the anti-aging or the anti-eagle decline industry they know that their time is running thin in conjunction with biology. They begin to freeze their eggs at these ages. In class, what do we refer to this all as? Hitting the wall. Let's proceed. I don't think that most w women, most black women desire doing this journey alone. That's I very don't. Important. It's, very it's very important. important yeah. and, I, and I know that you mentioned yesterday the egg freezing. So let's talk about that. Yeah. Because I think that that is marketed, not just you, Lauren, I think in general, 
that is in a lot of these comments, right? Well, girl, just freeze your eggs and don't worry about the rest. Nah, that's some bullshit. Because I'm here to tell you because I'm living it, right? I froze eggs at 34. I never thought in a million years I would need to use them, right? Mm -hmm. Because why? I was in a loving, committed relationship. These, these were my spare. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many eggs, on average, a woman should have on ice, on reserve, frozen, for a probability of one live birth? No, I don't. About 20. The part to that is yeah. knowing when. Like, for example, yeah, right. okay. you got to know, because as a man, mm -hmm. what we value is when you know us and we don't have to tell you. You've been around us long mm -hmm. enough. You figured this out. You didn't just spend moments enjoying us. Mm -hmm. You actually studied us, got mm -hmm. to know us, have a mastering of us to some degree where we don't have to tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you might, you, you know when we want to go out. You know when we're not interested in going out. You mm -hmm. know when we want to get down. You know when we don't want to. You have an idea mm -hmm. of who he is without him having to tell you because it tells him you've paid the attention to what works for him which elevate his level of faith in you mm. that you will ultimately figure things out and y'all will flow along more smoothly or not i love that and i think that most women um need to need to spend more time with that figuring out piece and i would also declare brother stephen a smith that the chief complaint that i know i felt in my relationship because this is the problem I've never had a problem attracting men. I, b I believe you believe that. I believe that. Okay. Believe it's that. it's um, holding them, what retaining them. What I find them. has happened historically is that men are very attracted, um, not just to the aesthetic, but also even to, we'll call it the resume, right? They, mm -hmm. they, they like what it looks like, what it presents like. Yeah. And then they actually get to know me. And they do, stop, and they don't like what they... Yeah, this is what I'm saying. And it's a damn shame because the package in the resume can look one way, but then you get in spaces with these men and they want nothing to do with you. That's why Kevin Samuels blew up to the degree of what he did. And women would call in night after night because the results that they were receiving in person, even if they were attracting these men, they couldn't keep them. They couldn't retain them. And the majority of the reason why is because they don't understand men. They were taught in media to disrespect men, that men are stupid, that men are to be objectified, that men ain't shit, that men are dogs. And it bleeds out into the way that they treat men and wonder why they can't retain these men. And they realize they love, they, they, they actually are fans, right. if I can just be totally honest with you. Okay. They're fans, they respect it, um, they look up to it. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes it's something they find aspirational, mm -hmm. but they don't really know how to engage in it in a de on a daily but you basis. Know, but you know what it is, right? Please tell me. Because you're not a fool. Mm -hmm. Your level of intellect, mm -hmm. your principled position. That's it right the there. The combination of the two things. There's yeah. certain things yeah dudes just ain't getting away with. And if you run across a woman that it is clear as day, you got no shot Cap. at getting away with the nonsense. Yeah. Cap. You're like, damn, mm -hmm. path of easiest resistance. Yeah. More men than not, not yeah, all not men, all. but more men than not I think that's will right. take a path of easiest resistance. And I Steven, I love you, but you simping right now, my G. You, you, you simping. I, I understand the female audience to all of this shit. They're going to give you a lot of your donations. They're gonna give you, but the more that we lie to these women, the less married that they will be. I will maintain this shit. It's not always the guy's fault and not being able to get up to her expectations. Oh, they're fans. What the fuck is this shit? Steven, stop the bullshit. Because here's the thing, Steven. You really know. You respected Kevin. You understood his message. But you get on public platforms and you're lying. It's okay, though. Keep on lying because then I can go back later and I can tear it up. Keep your image, Steven. Never, you know what? All that shit. Keep doing what you're doing, Steven. I got you. I understand what's happening about you. I got you. All right. Let's keep going. I, and I don't fault them. That's why what you don't hear me doing is being on these uh, YouTube streets and Instagram streets complaining about it. Mm. I recognize right. that um, b because I choose that principal position, and this right. is the same ailment, if you will, Stephen A., that I suffer professionally. Right. You know, there's, there's, there's shows that you know I've yes. been in the ring for That's that, right. uh, you know, some people in this room didn't know. That's right. I ain't gonna say nothing. This room ain't say nothing, but we know. It's true. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but because of that principal thing, you know, it, my, my, my mom get mad about it. She's like, girl, you know how much money you leave on the table with them damn principals. But <laughs> and, and, and she's not wrong. She's not wrong. And how many men 
uh, might be on the table, so to speak. To your point, I, I believe you're 100% correct, but I, I just got to, this is where my faith kicks in, mm-hmm. you know, just to kind of wrap it on up. This is where I believe what God has for me is for me and it will never miss me. I truly mm-hmm. believe that. Not a job, not a show, and not a divine life partner. Right. That man is out there. He will mm-hmm. find me. I don't right. have to go looking for him and he, he'll find me on God's time, not so, on my time. Uh, All right. Yep. Manifest it. You know, let me read Sierra's prayer three times, spin around in a circle, put it underneath my bed and just hope that it happens. Uh, I think in the Bible, it says that faith without works is dead. I believe that's in the Bible or did Jesus say it? I'm not sure. Don't mean to be disrespectful, but faith without works is absolutely dead. You said that you recognize behaviors or traits that you can change. The issue is, is that you don't want to change them. And now you're saying that you're just going to rest within God's divine timing. Because God is, no, God's looking down at you like, I, you know what to do. Ch- change your shit. Get, get off your bullshit. All this shit about the bus driver. He's got to own the bus because of all the success. This is your ego. The ego of the modern woman today is insane. It's crazy. That's why so many men are going abroad because they're just tired of the bullshit. I just did a story not too long ago on Ben Hart who detailed his wife from Laos escaping a war-torn country to become a successful, well-adjusted, without having any English, picking it up and working her ass off to this non-privileged state and chose to be in a relationship with an American man who ain't have shit, ain't have no money. And now with them combined together, they've created multi-millions of dollars and they look so damn happy. What did she get right that you're getting wrong? And I'm not just talking to her, I'm talking about all the women out there that look at content like this and just, oh, you're right. Ah, it's the man. He just must be a fan of me. What? The ego of the modern woman today will leave you guys single, destitute, and alone. Emotionally destitute. Not financially. (laughs) Because apparently y'all are doing pretty good. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me, your tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Leave your comments down below. And let's have a fruitful conversation Until next time, YouTube, peace.